Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Elena and Plutus Awakening. So you have been asking me about her. So yes, I must say her stats awakening is totally insane. In fact, I can say that maybe in this game, her stats is the best, okay? Like you can see that she has insane attack and magic boost. Actually, it is not insane, but it is top tier boost on both attack and magic, 200%. Not only that, her true double hand stats is also insane, 250%. You only need 50% more to max her, okay? And take a look. 180%, 160% on health, defense, spirit. How's that not insane, guys? She is totally tanky. That's the reason why I show you Swan Wu and Ching Long. Until this point, Swan Wu and Ching Long are the most tankier physical DPS. And like you can see, I can say that right now, Elena tankiness is better than Swan Wu and Ching Long. Okay? And Esther. Yes, I have said on Esther video that she may be not that good, but her stats is awesome. And until now, I still think Esther's stats is awesome. But again, take a look on Elena. Elena simply obliterates all physical DPS stats, okay? That's my compliment for her. Amazing. Very good. So, like you can see that she also get 100% human and demon killers. So make sure you bring her when you fight those enemies. Okay, she also gets 20% physical and magic evasion. So yes, I can say that maybe she, she's not... Yes, I think it's kind of impossible to make her die on the battle. Okay, unless of course your equipment is not sufficient. And maybe you make her into provoke tank and of course she will die. But on normal situation, on normal party setup, it's very hard for her to die. And because she having this kind of stats gives her a luxury for not equipping defensive abilities or equipment. Okay, so for other characters, you may need to equip them with spirit stats boost. But for her, you don't need. Okay, you simply can give her like LB damage increase or killers or whatever. Okay, so for stats, C is number one. Enough about stats, what about her abilities? First of all, let me tell you that I don't like Elena abilities awakening. Okay, don't, don't angry, don't be angry. That's not because they are bad, but because in my opinion, Elena is complete Catered to use. You may say, what? See, it's very simple to use. Yes, maybe for you, but for me, I don't like it, okay? For me, C is confusing to use. Uh, simple character for me is like War Hero Region and Soul. Whoa, they are pretty simple. For Elena, her Awakened version is much more simpler than the normal version, but still, it is kind of complicated. The best part is C now able to triple cast all of her abilities. Back then, ooh, I'm really confused guy when using her. Oh, on the first turn, I cannot use this, I cannot use what, but for now, that's kind of removed. But still, she still need to refresh her damage modifier abilities after a few turns. That's what I don't like about her, okay? But if you are okay with that, go ahead. She is totally great, okay? And for support, she also able to give you all allies 40% damage mitigation on the first turn. So that's definitely useful while you are waiting for 50% damage mitigation, okay? Good job. And for the other cooldown, this gives you 70% fire, ice, light, and dark resist. That's half of the elements on this game. So again, pretty decent. For rotation, on the first turn, you want to use Way of Aurora or Way of Blossom, plus two, of course, okay? You use this to imperil all enemies' resistance. I mean, ice or light. Choose which element you want to use, ice or light, okay? And remember, this Way of the Aurora also refill your LB gauge to full. So if you plan to make her into LB users, 
to chain with other characters, then make sure you don't use two of these abilities within one turn. Okay, actually, yes, I suggest you not to use this because on the second action, you need to imbue yourself with ice or light element. Okay, so the imbue lasts for five turns, so you don't need to worry that often. And then use Aurora Arts. Aurora Arts is useful because it increases your Blade of Crystal damage modifier forever until you die. Okay, so very decent. You don't need to worry about Aurora Arts anymore unless you die. And on the second turn, this is what I don't like. She needs to use her LB. It's okay, her LB is not bad, but yeah, basically you need to refresh the LB if you want to keep damage modifier for Blood Crystal on top. But I don't think that's a big problem because I think her LB is pretty good, okay? First, it deals 70 times hybrid damage. She gets 100% passive boost from her awakening. That means this LB deal 140 times hybrid damage. Very high, quite high, I mean, okay? And it's AoE attack. So if you fight against multiple enemies, I suggest you to use this to chain, let's say, with another Elena or Aldor King Rain and Mastermind Stone, okay? Because the LB can chain perfectly well. And this LB gives you 180% all stats boost. This is pretty decent. Yes, I know you may complain. This is this can be dispelled, yes I know, but again, on some battle, you probably want to ditch your buffer in order to fit certain character. Okay, so on that situation, this is really useful. Okay, 180% is insane, especially for defense and spirit, okay? And because you want to use this LB frequently, I don't think it's a problem, okay? being this only lasts for three turns okay but yes on normal situation what you want to get is the, the damage modifier and then after using a limit burst you simply need to spam your blade of crystal actually you if you want to get better damage you may want to use that uh, radiant mic or frost hedge because that will give you damage modifier boost to your blade of crystals but like I said, I don't like, okay, when I see her skill list, they are so confusing. Let me be honest with you. I'm in pain when making this review. Sorry, okay. Sorry, I'm not that smart. But that's the fact, okay. Because when I take a look on other characters' page, I never being feel overwhelmed like when I see her page, okay. But still, perfectly good. And I think that's all you need to know about her awakened abilities. Now, for partner, of course, if you use her as a single target attacker, you can partner her with another bolting striker like Rico Rodriguez, Esther. Yes, basically bolting strike, including Ace and Rame. Okay, good luck. All of those characters are triple caster, so they can work very well. But what? If you fight multiple enemies, then of course, what do you want to use is another extreme Nova chainer. So you can use Aldor King Rain, you can use Mastermind Son, or even better, another Elena because Elena is better than these two characters. Okay, and yes, Mastermind Son is also able to copy her demon killer or a human killer if you bring Morgana okay she will rebuff herself with demon and human killer so that will be very useful and again because she is a true double hand characters uh, that mean her element choice will be suck so in that case bring another character who able to imbue her with other elements like Lucas, Luna Freya and Rem is, I mean Rena. Rena is useless because yes, she already able to imbue herself with that element. For recent trial, she is perfectly good, okay, because she has amazing AOE attack. And against Corn of the Mad Doll, she is even better because remember she has Demon Killer, which 
match with Matt Doll type. Okay, so she is totally decent again all recent trials. So yes, I'm really happy to see this time this batch awakening. Okay, so it's good. This Elena is good, unlike Esther or whatever. Okay, that's kind of annoying. But yes, congratulations. Enough about trial. Now let's take let's take a look on equipment. Really, guys, if you like her, then my first suggestion is to get her STMR because her STMR is pretty good for her. With that, you reach maximum boost of for your true double hand attack and magic. Not only that, you also get 60% attack and magic, which she need. Okay, with only one ability slot, you already achieve many things. So, yes, you save precious ability slots. Okay, you can f f use, uh, let's say, fill her with LB damage boosting if you use her as uh, LB damage LB damage dealer. Okay, for AOE damage. Okay, because that's the only way she deals uh, reasonable AOE damage through her LP, okay? But if you use her as single target attacker like Bolting Strike, you don't need to worry that much about her LP damage boost, okay? My suggestion for you is simply to aim for 100% LP damage boost, okay? It's not that hard, I must say, if you, especially if you have that Astral Protection. Astral Protection is really good ability for her because it gives her attack and magic boost and of course limit burst damage. Okay, so yeah, try to find that and aim for 100% LB damage boost, which means you deal 210 times hybrid LB damage. Okay, so enough about equipment, my conclusion for Elena. So Elena is superb character, okay? Like I said, she is probably the best character on this game in terms of stats. Amazing. And of course, at this moment, I can say that she is the most powerful hybrid attackers. I think she is better than uh, Gilgamesh from War of the Vision, okay? Because Gilgamesh is limited to... Not limited, but locked to ice elements. For Elena, she is not locked, okay? Yes, she can only imbue herself with ice and light, but she, if you need her to have other elements, you have a way to imbue her with other elements. Okay, you got what I said, okay, sorry. But yes, pretty decent. But let me remind you, she is a hybrid attacker. That means her damage modifier is actually not that great, okay? You have seen insane amount of damage modifier numbers before, like her LB, I said, her LB, if you manage to get 100% LB damage boost, is 210 times. Yes, that's insane, but remember, that's a hybrid. Okay, so that means it is less powerful than true 210 times damage. So, for, for example, her bolting strike chaining, it deals 80 times damage per cast, 80 times hybrid damage per cast, sorry. That means within one turn, she can deal 240 times. Such impressive, right? But remember, it is hybrid damage, so probably... I cannot say it will be half, okay? Because it is super low It is if it is half, but let's say... 75%, so it's equal to about uh, 180 times, okay? So 180 times, one, 180 times to 200 times, okay? So I think in terms of damage modifier like that, she is about on par like uh, Regen, Regen, yeah, what War Hero Regen out damage output, okay? I think that's about her level, about 180 times damage modifier, okay? So... She is not as great as the numbers, but still very powerful characters, okay? And her STMR is definitely, I must say, probably one of the best Thrustmaster for true double hand hybrid attackers. But she is the most powerful true double hand characters at this point, so maybe... It is not that interesting. But the point here is you can equip this on anyone, okay? Let's say you get this 
and you don't need the magic stats you only need attack stats still it will be very useful because it gives you 60% attack and 50% equipment attack very useful that's equal to trust master within one stmr so this stmr is totally worth if you want to get it okay in fact you i mean you must get it if you plan to use elena okay because it is pretty good okay and the all the another thing i lo don't like is the trust master reward it is exclusive only for herself but yes i perfectly understandable because it is so damn powerful okay so if you're able to equip this on any characters that's kind of unfair okay this is probably the best weapon you may say you want to use daybreak i suggest you not to do that because daybreak is yeah, Daybreak is one-handed weapon, not sure. But the point here is it is already good, so you don't need to tinkering about this, okay? You don't need to bother about equipping ice or light element because, wow, this weapon is pretty good, okay? Two-handed sword for her. And yes, this is subjective, but I have said this, I'm getting dizzy when looking her wiki page, page okay? Whoa, too many abilities and I don't think they are that useful. Okay, they will be useful maybe on some situation, but on normal, oh, that's, those only make me confused when selecting skills on battles. So yes, I don't like it. But for you, if you don't mind about that, wow, she is amazing. Okay, top tier characters, awaken her if you have her, good luck. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all you need to know about Elena Abilities Awakening. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye, guys.